I can't help it, right? The fantasy football season just ended not that long ago, but I'm already looking ahead to try to find a few of those guys that I love in 2023. I got some running backs I'm going to be paying attention to here in today's show. Now, you're already seeing people out there making videos busts and sleepers and breakouts. It's way too early to be talking about players in that form or fashion. We got free agency, we got the NFL draft, and a lot of things can change. But that doesn't mean that we can't look at a few of these guys and really focus on them this offseason. Because if nothing really changes, they could be great for you in 2023. So here we go, I got six running backs that I love way too early here in 2023. The first two, you've heard me talk about already this offseason. It's Kenneth Walker and Travis Etienne. For Kenneth Walker, he tied Derrick Henry in the most big play runs in the NFL with 20. Had 52 red zone touches, third amongst all running backs in the league. Evaded 79 tackles, which was 10th in the NFL, despite not even being the team's running back one until week six. Six, had 16 plus touches in 10 of his 12 starts and Rashad Penny who's always hurt is now a free agent love me some Kenneth Walker this offseason same goes for Travis Etienne as well basically just had his rookie season remember he missed his entire rookie year due to injury finished just behind Henry and Walker with 18 of those big runs had 45 touches inside the red zone which is top 10 at the position finished eighth in the NFL in rushing yards 10th in yards created with 779 15 plus touches in nine games played and now this offense is adding calvin ridley sign me up for some travis Etienne as well but what about Ramondre Stevenson? Is it Steven season part due in 2023? He's last year's running back 11 overall. Averaged over 12 fantasy points per game. Damian Harris, now a free agent. Ramondre Stevenson himself is top 10 in targets, receptions, receiving yards, target share, evaded tackles, breakaway runs, and yards created. Dude was top 10 in almost everything at the position, and you gotta love when you have a running back who can get you over five targets per game, because he did it in 11 of them last year. He has a new offensive coordinator in town, Bill O'Brien, coming from Alabama. He was back in New England back in 2011. Then he became the head coach of Houston from 2012 through 2020, then to Alabama until now as a head coach Offensive coordinator in the NFL, he's had a top 12 rushing offense six out of his eight years. Great offensive coordinator, not a great head coach. Now, the team is not loaded with pass catching weapons as of right now, and you have to expect the role that we saw from Ramondre Stevenson is going to be similar in 2023. Will they use multiple backs? Of course they will. They're the New England mother Patriots. They don't commit to one guy ever. They always go multiple backs, but the potential and the touchdown upside is going to be there once again, and a lot of people aren't going to come back on the band wagon because they're fearing the other running backs on the roster love me some steven season but what about a second year running back damian pierce of the houston texans now he got injured back in week 14 but he's on a team last year in houston that was horrendous there's no way they can get much worse in 2023 they have to get better the lone bright spot was damian pierce 16 plus touches in 10 of his 13 games played average just under 12 fantasy points per contest no other current threats on the roster to take away his job and now a new head coach in Demeco ryan's a defensive type of guy that's going to want to pound the rock damian pierce could be a good discount bargain for you here in 2023 definitely a name i'm paying attention to this offseason another young running back what about brian robinson of the washington commandos he's gonna have the ability to have a complete offseason as the lead running back of an nfl franchise and not have to worry about recovering from being shot in the leg multiple times that has to be a plus for him he averaged 17 carries a game 20 plus touches in four of the last five games of the year they really started to rely on him had 214 touches in 12 games now it sounds like sam howell is going to get his shot under center for the commandos i love sam howell he opens up this offense he opens up the passing offense which is only going to help brian robinson it's also going to help open up that deep ball for terry mclaurin and jahan dotson that open passing 
passing game is definitely what we need in Washington. Another one of these guys that's not going to bring over a whole lot of sexy name value, but could definitely be a great stash for us in 2023. Brian Robinson, another name that I love way too early here in 2023. And then lastly, what about Tyler Algier of the Atlanta Falcons? You can kind of see the flip switch with him second half of the season. He became so much more comfortable at the position and Cordero Patterson took a back seat. Over the last month of the season, he didn't have less than 18 touches in a game. Averaged just under five yards per carry on the year, had 1,174 total yards, but this offense is going to be more vertical in 2023 with a full year of Desmond Ritter under center. We got Kyle Pitts coming back and Drake London in his second second year should be enough in the passing game to draw that defense out of the box a little bit and Tyler Algier could be another name super cheap that I'm loving early on here in 2023. But there's no way that we can label these guys as sleepers, breakouts, busts, whatever this early in the year. They're names that we're paying attention to. I'm gonna be paying attention to them. Are you? Leave the comments down below. Do me a favor, hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already because we got you covered with all things fantasy football in 2023. Now do your part to make the world a better place and we'll talk to you later.